Well, good morning everyone and welcome to another day here in the Florida Keys in Key West. We just jumped in the car quickly and driven down about 10 minutes down from our hotel to this Cuban coffee shop. That's what we're going to try today. No Starbucks, we're going for a Cuban coffee. As I said, there's quite a lot of Cuban influence down here in the Keys. So we want to try something a little bit more traditional. There's a queue outside the door, so it must be pretty good. Laura's read about it online, very popular. So. Uh, we're going to go and see the Cuban coffee queen for a coffee and then bring you along with us, see what it's all like. Later on today, potentially we've got a boat trip coming up. We're going to be trying to do a live stream as well. So I'll leave the links to that in the description if we do manage to do the live stream down Duval Street. So we're just quickly paying to park and then uh, we're going to jump in and have a coffee. It's going to be interesting, something different. No Starbucks today. There is Starbucks here, but I want to try this Cuban one and by the looks of it, by how busy it is, should be pretty good. We're all ordered. We've ordered two Cuban caramel coffees, one chocolate croissant, and Laura's gone for a gluten-free egg and... Cheese, and the rice and beans on the side, just to try it. Just to give it a whirl. I mean, how cool is that? It's, busy, it's mad busy, yeah, everyone's queuing busy up. This time in the morning, so it's gotta be good. No, we've just driven down quite a few streets, seen a few different coffee places, but this here, very busy. I'm hoping we can cut through and have a little look at the ocean and the boats while we eat it. But yeah, really cool in here. A lot of people come in with their refillable cups as well, just getting their coffee for the day and cool little coffee shop. Very cool, it, yeah. very traditional. Okay, so here we go, moment of truth. Here's our coffees. Laura's giving them a little stare. Now I think these are gonna be strong. I think they are. I think these are gonna be kick ass. I think these are gonna be for true coffee lover. Yeah, I think these are gonna Seriously, kick you up the arse. Oh no, really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, actually, you like that thing. Yeah? Sweet? It's not super sweet, but it's not super. The coffee's not bitter either. No. Then we can, you can get bitter coffee. So quite smooth then? Yeah. Oh, it's completely different from like Starbucks and everything though. Yeah? Yeah. Have a try. Let's give it a try. Okay, moment of truth here. Quite nice, quite nice. Completely it's different, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost, when you first taste it, it almost tastes a bit like hot chocolate. That sound weird. No, it's nice. Yeah, it's really I good, like isn't it. it? Yeah. Even without extra caramel, you can still taste the caramel in it. No, yeah. I'm, I'm I think I see so why far. this is a popular place. A little chocolate croissant on the way. Oh yeah. It smells like chocolatey. I don't know, probably sounds strange. Maybe that's because it's a real Cuban coffee. It smells a bit hot chocolate ish. Mm. Nice. So I would say it was bre it's brewed coffee, I think, but it is quite nice. I normally don't do the American brewed stuff. I can't stand the likes of IHOP and all of that, their coffee. But this is actually quite nice, genuinely. It's a little bit sort of. Thinner than a latte, I'd say. Yeah. But nice. Well, nice. it's not a latte, though, is it? It's a caramel coffee, no. that's why. Caramel coffee, and I can, you can taste the caramel, which is nice. Just waiting on our, my chocolate croissant, and Laura's little uh, breakfast sandwich. And then we're going to go and try and go the other side and enjoy a bit of a view of the boats while we have it. But these are all locals just picking up their coffee and, and off for the day. This is quite a residential area. So we found this online. This is away from the sort of main tourist touristy i mean it's not a super touristy place but that main duval street is where you've got all your you know your starbucks and all of that this is away from all of that yeah we found some nice little looking bars and vessels in the back that you would never notice yeah down these residential streets you could uh, see some different places we're going to try maybe and then have a little look around later on or tomorrow
these are mainly all the fish that you can catch on the fishing excursions. These are all the common fish you see. They're the ones that I've shown quite a lot in the footage that are normally hanging around the docks hoping to get some food. But I haven't seen any of the others inside the docks. They're mostly out, uh, out at sea. But that's mostly what you'll be trying to catch when you're out there on these fishing boats. There is loads of them. If you're a fisherman or a diver, this is definitely the place for you. Down in the Keys, the fishing is meant to be incredible. I'm not a big fisherman myself, but it is meant to be really good down here for fishing. This is where we're setting up to eat. <laughs> Gonna enjoy our croissant with this view out on the dock with our local coffee. I feel like a complete local now, Laura. Let's have a look what this chocolate croissant's like. So, Cuban chocolate croissants for breakfast. Very nice, a little bit more dense, a little bit more cake-ish, but super tasty. It should be for $5, but it is nice. And Laura's got a gluten-free little breakfast sandwich going on down there. Someone to eat. <laughs> well, any good, Laura? It's amazing, to be fair. Yeah? So yeah. what have we got on there? Egg and cheese. Just egg and cheese and some tomato ketchup. Then I've got a side of beans and rice. Bit of beans and rice in there. Yet. But, ooh, it's a very good. Cuban breakfast that. Oh, yeah, nice. Ooh, can't wait to try them. I can smell them from here. I know. Well, the Cuban coffee was lovely. We're now uh, back out. We popped back into the hotel to uh, pick up the stuff for the live stream. I'm using my sister's phone for now. Then I'm going to go and buy a SIM card later. What actually happened was. The SIM card we normally get from three, we ordered one with less gigabytes on than normal and it ran out within five minutes of being here. It didn't work. So I'm gonna have to try and buy an American one because I've not been able to do any streams, which I'm really missing. But for now, because that shop doesn't open until 10 to get, we did try this morning. There's a shop there, T-Mobile, doesn't open until 10 a.m. So that's when our stream is scheduled to start. So I'm gonna use my sister's phone for now and then we will uh, go and buy a SIM card later. It's a gorgeous morning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful, yeah. Lovely breeze, bright blue skies. Yeah. Gorgeous, what you want. It's going to be nice for a little live stream walk down to Val Street. I will leave the link in the description. Uh, but for now, we will catch you after our stream where we're going to be going and doing a boat trip. Well, just a little half an hour or so later, you join us down here in Mallory Square. Uh, we've just finished our live stream, been having a look at the chickens and the little chicks. And we're just watching this man here. He's bringing in a big fish. He's been battling this for about 10 minutes now. And I'm really intrigued to see what comes up. It's something big, something big. You can see the strain on his rod there. Something big coming in. So we're gonna wait and see what comes up. And enjoy the views while we're here. It's a stunning view right across to this private style island over there. Imagine living on a home over there. Huge mansions, must be worth millions and millions. Be fun getting your provisions over there though. Yeah, I wanna wait and see. I'm hoping he's uh, just snap the line or anything, bringing this in. I'm gonna go, I reckon it's a big tarp. I reckon it's gonna be coming in. We're gonna find out. This is where your cruise ships normally stop as well. Gorgeous place for a cruise to stop. Jump off and you are straight in the middle of the action. You haven't got to walk anywhere. Well, you haven't got to get buses anywhere or transport. You can walk straight into the town and enjoy. A lot of cruise stops around the world, you know, require buses and all of that. This is one of the nicest cruise stops in the world, I think. You literally hop off and you're right in the middle of this gorgeous historic district. Let's see if you can manage to bring this in. While we wait for this gentleman to try and bring in this massive fish, I want to shout out today's video sponsor, which is Brevity. Our fantastic rucksack is out and about again today, full of all our gear for today, battery packs, gimbals, uh, phone cases. It's also got our towels and swim gear for our boat trip in a little while. Doesn't matter if it gets wet, if it gets dirty out here, you can machine wash it. It's got a lifetime guarantee. And we've also brought our little additional pouch, which has got my extra bits in that I can grab nice and quick and handy. If you do want to see any more of the backpacks that they've got, the, all the different colours they have, I will leave the link in the description. You can go and check them out. Fantastic rucksack. I absolutely love mine. You'll see me using it all the time. 
uh, on the channel. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So make sure you go and check them out and I will leave the link in the description. So whilst we're waiting for our boat trip, we are going to take a quick look in Ron John's shop. See what they've got in here because we do know we buy something from a Ron John shop. Yeah, we'll be going around with any of the little shops we pop into, we'll try and film from them. Yeah. As we, uh, we've got a little bit of a distance to the boat trip, so. Nice. Quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Got some nice stuff in here. Lovely t-shirts and shirts. Got nice everything in here. You know how much we love Ron John's. So guys, we've just made a purchase. <laughs> and do wishes. It? We picked this one just because it's got the nice sunbeds up front, <laughs> oh, so Laura can have that. a bit of a lie down. Uh, love the brown and mahogany chairs. Yeah, it just is nice. pretty. Nice, the four powered engines on the back. Just Ooh. gives me a bit more power to nip about <laughs> when we come down here. So, yeah, it's uh, job done, isn't you it? You have to, can't you, as well? So we just ordered the SS Night Strider to go on the side. <laughs> There's my spot there. So I think the four engines on the back, 400 each, would be, you know, I think I'll give you a little bit of power, just a little bit, just, just to yeah. tootle along. This thing would go. There's some power out the back that. That is a lot of power on those engines. Fishing vessel, so you've got all the slots for all the fishing rods. Well, it's just stunning boats. That's brand new, that. It's stunning. Looking at this bird here, eyeing up his breakfast. I'm not sure which type of bird it is. It's a big, long beak, so you'll be straight in for he's got a big choice of breakfast there to enjoy. stop at Kermit's again for a little cheeky key lime pie, a sit down and a chill. Love hearing those birds as you go around. <laughs> so cool. On our live stream everyone was saying it's got a very Caribbean feel to it. Also a very Cuban feel, yeah. Let's get ourselves in, cool down. After a steaming hot walk, literally for about 20 minutes, we've made it to the boat marina where we're doing our boat trip today. Uh, we're just in a lovely Thai restaurant, just overlooking the boats because we were a bit early, waiting for mum and dad to arrive. And I've ordered myself a little chicken teriyaki. Yeah. And uh, these are the views we've got. Just straight out, there's our boat down there. <laughs> lovely views, but we're in the air conditioning, just cooling off in here. Nice, looking forward to a little bite to eat before we go out on our boat. Andrew's ordered teriyaki chicken. We both thought it was going to be skewers, but it's not. It's a full meal. But is it nice? Yeah, it looks really good, very really fresh. Here are Laura's chicken satay skewers. They look amazing, Laura. It's a little bit of a jam here. We just got to the boat early, came up for a drink, saw the food menu and thought, why not? We're just enjoying these views, this food in the nice air conditioning, a bit of Thai, it's nice. Okay, so you're now joining us a few hours later. We've had a little bit of a nap and a refresh after our amazing boat trip today. Been out in the sun, as you can tell, Laurie, looking very brown, know, very bronze. Really catching the sun now, yeah. Really are, yeah. So, we could show everyone your outfit. You've got your Mickey ears on tonight. <laughs> Earrings, even though you're not in Disney. Yeah, I just fancy some sparkly. So these are off Etsy. I do need to put that link on the... How much were they on Etsy? 
Like not even a tenner. Not even a tenner, nice. Really cheap. I've got me, of course. Key West bracelet, same necklace as last night. Where's the dress from? Boohoo. Now, boohoo, I got a size eight because do all the measurements and everything. And it said I was a size eight. I would have gone up the dress size. So you would have gone for a 10? 10. So if you're if you're on Boohoo, go up a size then. So if you're a six, you're an eight. If you're an eight, you're a 10. Yeah, just because if I've got a couple of things on Boohoo and they're either quite tight or stick fit and all that in a size yeah. eight. So They run a bit small, the sizes. But it, but it, it, it says what kind of body. If you've got like a big bum, like a bit of a belly and all that, like you straight up and down. So I've done it all and it wasn't still a bit tight, so go up yeah. the size. But yeah, it was, this was on sale, wasn't it? Yeah. And what about your rings? I've got my rose gold rings on today. Some princess ring, little heart rings. They are Pandora as well, aren't they? Pandora. Always. Pandora and of course the sexy, sexy Sonic. There you go. And my backpack. There you go. I'm looking nice and uh, Key Westish, you know. But I have still got the orange trainers on because I'm going to walk all the way down Duval Street again. <clears throat> and I can't wear my smart blue shoes for that. I need to be comfy. This is lovely and thin, very uh, bright and Key West-ish, but nice and thin. So we're going to have a wander towards the Mexican, I think, for a bite to eat for tea, and then just see what happens tonight. And we are pretty tired from today's events. I hope you did enjoy that little bit of the boat trip, which was really good fun, actually. Uh, really enjoyed that. Yeah, I wonder, I think I'm fancying a bit of Mexican, I'm fancying... Maybe some fajitas or something like that, or... I'm a beef enchilada. And then you this morning, Laura, you've got me in the mood for some Mexican rice as well. Mm. Well, I didn't have Mexican rice, I had Cuban rice. Well, Cuban rice, but you know what I mean, because I saw the kidney beans and yeah. I just associate that with Mexican food. So I'll show you the full menu and see what we end up going for. Isn't that a nice cheese, chicken cheese burrito with some mm. Mexican rice, something like that. Oh, then probably a key lime pie <laughs> for dessert. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Gorgeous sky again tonight. We keep missing the sunset down on uh, Mallory Square. We're gonna make sure we catch that tomorrow. Might even try and fly the drone if I can. Yeah. yeah. Come in to take a look at the Wyland Gallery. This is one of my favorite artists. One of my favorite galleries to look around. Love his uh, underwater scenes, the dolphins, the manatees, love that, dead colorful. And he does amazing sculptures as well. Some stunning pieces. So we did say we want to try the rooftop bar, Laura. Let's give it a try. The bull and whistle bar. There is a rooftop bar up there. Would have been good for sunset, that. So we're gonna go up and give it a try and then the Mexican is just a bit further down for dinner. We have made it to our Mexican just opposite Captain Tony's and we've eaten in here before. Laura can get gluten free and I remember it being really nice in here. Can't remember what I had but I do remember it being really good. I think I might go for, I think it might have been fajitas that I had last time. Well here's the full menu. So just over at Captain Tony's, you've got a good view. Everyone's trying to, there you go, he did it. Everyone's trying to catch the, throw the uh, 25 cents into the fish's mouth there. He managed to do it. You've got to do it backwards, so it's even harder. But we've got a good view from over here, just watching everyone have fun. So Laura's gone for a gluten-free burrito, two of them, because only the small size is gluten-free. I've gone for a full normal chicken burrito. Two waters, just gonna try and rehydrate. I am enjoying, they've all just been cheering. I'm enjoying watching these across the road, trying to get the uh, 25 cents in for the look. This place comes to live at night. It's about half past nine now. It is getting lively out here now. It's uh, definitely a nighttime place. Yeah, it's, it's picking up at night time. We 
go, here's our burritos. There's the two gluten-free ones. I've gone for one large normal one. Chicken and cheese in there. Plenty to dig into. Proper traditional Mexican there. So, they're actually very nice. They do taste a little bit more like beef than chicken. With the marinade, it's more of like a beef marinade than a chicken marinade. But they are very nice. It's a little bit more of a lighter dinner, but it is nice. Proper traditional Mexican sort of street food. It's nice, it fits in with the vibe down here tonight. But it's like a nice cheese in it as well, isn't it? Yeah. This is good. Really, really soft meat. So, all done for today. We are now walking home. Quite lively out and about. Thank you all very much for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe if you are new. There is plenty more content coming from here in Key West and Florida itself as well. But uh, concluded a good day there. We're going to walk home. Uh, nice night to sleep and then we're up early for coffee during our live stream but so uh, yeah thank you very much and uh, stride on bye guys